Hey, welcome back. Wow, what a big explosion in Beirut. And I didn't understand it. It just, that shockwave. Look at this. And uh, there you can see um, the enormity of uh, what appears to be a uh, secondary explosion. Whether that was, uh, uh, it could well be the first explosion because it may have been a fire just before it, but uh, it, uh, I'm just getting reports actually that there was a fire first and then that enormous explosion. Oh boy! I mean, it really looks like a giant um, munitions blast and the amount of pressure wave. You know, they, they actually felt the shockwave from this blast in Cyprus. And, um, you know, the airport in Beirut was trashed, which is over 10 kilometers away from the downtown docks. So what caused the explosion? And why did it look like something really, really terrifying? So I've been researching what it could possibly be, and it seems that it wasn't a munitions explosion. It's certainly not nuclear. I mean, let's just don't even go there. It's fertilizer, ammonium nitrite. This stuff is potentially deadly and has a history of blowing up. This is a fertilizer explosion in China and it's very similar. Whoa! Holy shit! Did you get that? Fuck yeah, I'm videoing Whoa. it. What the fuck? I think that might be a gas station or something. Fuck yeah, it's a gas Whoa! Whoa. Oh shit! And in the US, there was a terrible historic explosion of fertilizer. So what happened and how does it work? Well... Let's try that close up again. Ammonium nitrate is an oxidizing agent, meaning it's really rich in oxygen. That means it will burn in the absence of air. It actually has its own oxygen supply and that's potentially very dangerous. Sadly, terrorists know about the power of ammonium nitrate and fertilizer bombs are reasonably common. I'm not gonna go into them because it's bad stuff. But this is why it explodes. It's a flower bomb. It's about the critical amount of particulate matter and oxygen and then an ignition source. So sadly, the firefighters in downtown Beirut who were putting out an initial fire probably didn't do a good job. And that's not to diss the firefighters, and sadly, I'm sure a lot of them were killed or injured in the initial or the secondary blast, because this is what we need to understand. Did you notice that first there was a fire and vast amounts of particulate matter, burning wood, possibly diesel, was going up is smoke, and then the big blast. So what happens is when you get to that critical mass of suspension particles of things that will combust, smoke, flour, dust, diesel fumes, even pollution, and then you add into it burning ammonium nitrite, 
you get to the point where suddenly it's a chain reaction and it's sort of extremely fast and you'll get boof. And that's exactly what we saw. So be careful out there. If you store fertilizer, keep it dry, keep it away from other combustible materials. Don't douse it with water if it's on fire. Just get the hell out of there because it is really dangerous stuff if handled wrongly. For me, the take home message of this disaster was why was there so much ammonium nitrate fertilizer precursor chemical stored in one warehouse? Not a smart move. Keep it separate, keep it small, and keep down the explosion risk to a minimum. The truth is out there. Mm -hmm.